Hey guys, Evan 1994 here, and welcome to Minecraft version 1.7. So the first thing that I'm going to be showing off is the pistons. So how you make a piston? Oh wait, I need a crafting bench. <laughs> okay, so I got my crafting table. All right, so what you're going to need to do to make a piston is you're going to want to take three wood like that. You're going to want to put an iron ingot right there in the middle. Uh, a piece of redstone at the bottom and then you're gonna want uh, four cobblestone and that gives you a piston so what does a piston do you may ask well let's put it down alright so as you can see it's like this cobblestone brick um, not brick <laughs> it's like cobblestone with uh, wood on the top so basically let's put a piece of sand here maybe a few pieces of sand um, and let's get a couple pieces of redstone and put a lever so as you can see it moved it so if I put another piece of sand right there it'll move that too so there's also something else you can do with this um, you can uh, you can put it in water basically um, let, let me just find a place so I got a bucket of water here um, so normally water would flow down right so with this you can put a piston there and I'll put some redstone and put that there I'll get some water. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> I'm supposed to put it to the side or something. Uh, not really sure how that works. Huh. Maybe you have to put it. There we go. Yeah. So you have to put it on the side. And as you can see, it works as a dam. It stops the water, and when you open it back up, then the water goes down there. So that's pretty cool. And so you can also make a sticky uh, piston. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Get a slime ball from uh, slimes down in caves and stuff. And it gives you a sticky piston. So as I showed you over here with this sand, um, let me just grab another piece of sand right here. And let me collect this stuff back. Uh, so. As you can see, with the sand, when- oh, wait, what the hell? Why does it do that? It goes the wrong way. Oh, I think- I think it faces the way that you're looking? No? Maybe not. Oh, okay, so it faces the way that you're on. So see, I'm on this side, then it will face that way. I'm on this side, it will face that way. If I face up, it will go up. So that makes sense, guys. Now you know how to, now you know like which way it faces. So let me put it right here. And you push it out, see? And it will come back in. That one piece will come back in because it's stuck on. So let me just try this with something else. I'll put grass. So the grass, since it's, it should do the same thing here. Um, all right, so that's cool. Those are pistons. Uh, this is just a very brief uh, introduction to pistons. Uh, there's so much more that you can do. Um, maybe I'll do that in another video in the future. Okay, so fire or redstone is now required to trigger TNT. You can no longer hit the TNT. You get the TNT back if you hit it. As you can see. I don't like that, but hey, what you gonna do? Um, so, let me try to ignite it. Or blow it up with, uh, with some redstone and a lever. And that clearly works, as you can see. So, yeah, TNT still works, you just can't hit it. 
All right, so let me try it with uh, the fire now. Put a fire right on top. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, that works too. And it just blew up my piston. Where's my piston? <laughs> oh god, my piston's gone. Oh well. I don't need to make another one. <laughs> so, there's also another thing. We got shears. So, you can just make it right in your little 2x2 two two crafting bench. You get shears, as you can see. And shears do two things, um, at least that I know of. You can now get a leaf block. Leaves from a tree. It doesn't just... It's not like the normal way. It just disappears. It's a way that you can actually get leaves now. And another thing is uh, I gotta find a sheep. You can shear sheep. And uh, let me just go find one and then we'll talk. Is there any sheep? God! Alright, so what up sheep? Uh, you can't get wool from hitting them anymore. See? I hit them, no wool came. You gotta use your shears like in real life. You don't just hit the... <laughs> And apparently this doesn't hurt them. Oh, it hurt them. I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> but that's apparently what you have to do. Um, I thought it didn't hurt them when you sheared them. But I guess it did, clearly, because I killed it. Um, but anyway, on to the next thing. Okay, so apparently two things have uh, new textures. I didn't really notice uh, the cobblestone that it had a new texture. But now that I think of it, it kind of does look a little bit different. Also, bricks have a new texture, so uh, just a, bringing a little bit of variety to the game, I guess. Um, yeah, I did add a, <laughs> I added a brick to my inventory too. I wasn't sure if it was talking about the brick block or just a brick, so it's clearly talking about the block. Okay, so apparently now you can stack fences, and it looks like fences look a little bit different also. So. Yeah, you can clearly stack the fence. I think there was a glitch that let you do this, but you couldn't, like, officially do it. Like I'm doing it right now. And it's getting dark, not cool. So there you go, you got a fence. <laughs> and anyway, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god. And uh, if you want to see uh, the bug fixes and bugs that are listed on uh, this new version, I'm not going to include them in this video, but if you click on the link in the description, you'll be taken to the full like update, um, the version history uh, for 1.7 and 1.701. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm out. Peace.